Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Radar Apus. So uh, this is my first uh, attempt at doing a screencast, so it, it may be a little bit wayward, but um, mainly I want to show you why I like the program, and you know that has to do with it being you know an intuitive program, and it has lots to offer. So um, when you first open the program, it'll look something like this. There'll probably be table of contents there as well. You can show and hide that easily by pressing command F2 on a Mac. There's also a little button there for it. Okay, so let's get rid of that and dive straight into uh, finding some rubrics. So you've got over here uh, the binoculars and that takes you into <coughs> the navigation window and you can open and close that by pressing F2. Um, what you can do is just start typing so, and it will take you to whatever chapter uh, relates to what you're typing. Okay, simple, nice and easy and if you've got a rubric in mind that you wanted to use like uh, ailments from grief that would take you there just by typing and again just press the equals key on your keyboard and that puts that rubric into the clipboard and you just click there and it will show you what's in there okay if you just click on a remedy once you're in your analysis window that takes you to the keynotes uh, which are really very good in radar very informative <clears throat> okay and up here you can navigate between the different windows that you have that's your repertory there's your materia medica there's your keynotes they've all got slightly different symbols to make it easier and here's the analysis okay um so press f2 again go back into the mind section of the repertory and you might want to Look in delusions. And <clears throat> find another rubric. Press the equals key. Okay. And you can see that radar offers you lots of cross references that might offer an alternative rubric and just get you thinking about how you're how you're working so let's say you want to clear your clipboards it's a uh, command shift n starts a new analysis so i don't really want to save that but um let's say you want to recall an analysis so command <coughs> r for recall and there's one here that i have okay so what we've got here is um use of multiple clipboards um, yeah okay so you click on one and it takes you to whatever is in that clipboard specifically and if you hold the command key and click on each clipboard it's going to add them in to the repertorization uh, which makes things quite easy in terms of you know building it up and um, you might have what's in there. So you could organize clipboards according to remedies that have been grouped. So you see these little letters here. They show that, you know, these two rubrics have been grouped together to form one bigger one. So it'd probably help if I show you how to do that. Um, so let's start a new analysis again. Okay, and let's take another rubric. So, F2, mind, fastidious. Okay, let's go and look at that. So, by way of demonstration, if uh, rather than pressing just the equals key this time, I'm going to press shift equals and so and click on options. So what you can do here is, let's go for this option, 
take also the cross references and it asks you what you want to do with those. I'm going to put them all in a group with all remedies. And then what you have to do is give that group a letter to show which one it is. And that's it. It's going to go into clipboard one and you just press take. So clipboard one now has 18 rubrics in it, uh, far too many, clearly, um, but they've all been grouped. And uh, there we go. So obviously you'd you wouldn't want that for an actual repertorization, but it's an interesting way to demonstrate how that works. Okay, hope you found that useful. Um, there'll be more demonstrations coming up. Sure.